Namaste my friends, <clears throat> Paul Kelligan with you, today the yoga teacher in the tradition of the Swami Shivananda. Very way I'm saying like I'm not looking at the camera all the time at the screen because my eyes getting tired, I have a problem with the retina. Yes, so uh, what I'm working on, I'm doing yoga for eyes and I have video so you can uh, yeah see it in here on the channel I have uh, mostly spiritual videos but a lot of uh, practices about yoga meditation about uh, history pranayama asana and many other topics the videos not connected to each other <coughs> I'm saying pretty much the same thing in the beginning of the video so you can who is watching all the time you can just keep it yeah but I should do this kind of polite because uh, I don't know when, where, and who will see this video. And, like, who is this guy and what's going on here, right? I'm in Brooklyn, uh, 2021. Pretty hot day and without top clothes, so I'm sorry about that if somebody is bothering me. So, uh, I'm an initiated teacher, not fanatical, but uh, in tradition. Uh, yeah, of the Shivananda, like I said, I lived in ashrams, I have teacher, te many teachers before, so, and I, um, my spiritual name is Shankara, also I, um, I'm publishing my own books with the phrases, uh, spiritual phrases, so, uh, the main book, the calls the essence on the altar of love that's pretty much a big book 7,000 soldiers so uh, I can send it to you if you email me your address or in a messenger in the messages you can leave I have an Instagram in, in, in a Facebook so uh, I'm also uh, do some recommendation as a yoga teacher in the messengers if you need to call me you can, you can go to the Skype if you need it, if it's necessary yeah just write me back so uh, you can ask me any questions about yoga so I studied yoga for a long time about 30 years about 38 years I teach yoga about 30 years yeah <clears throat> So I don't like to judge, to criticize, to argue, to brainwash you, to, uh, <clears throat> to judge, and I don't want you, I don't want to live, you know, to say how to live your life. Uh, I teach yoga, not like life. Uh, you're pretty much free people. Yeah, I guess. So, uh, my book you can download it uh, on my website, from my website, or just Google it. The Essence on the Altar of Love, Bible Calendar, or Paul Calendar. Yeah, uh, today I'm gonna do a uh, usual, usual satsang. It's, uh, it means I'm gonna read some phrases from my book books yeah and uh, i'm gonna do comments on them each phrase has many angles and the few of them usually i'm saying well the few i hope it's dialogue you write me back or yeah i'll appreciate it yeah <clears throat> It's very good to do comments. It's uh, it can help so many people anywhere. So uh, when you speak, and it's good. Yeah. Anyway, um, I can stop sometimes a little because uh, English my second language, and I'm trying to find to pick up exact word to explain something difficult about spirituality, meditation, it's not easy sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much this is it. Yeah.
and I'm gonna read some sutras today. Some of them pretty unusual. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to bring you and myself into spiritual reality, spiritual dimension, I would say. One of my side uh, calls like that in, in YouTube, in the Facebook, I mean. Yeah. So, uh, as you know, we're too busy with these days. Yeah, life, the speed of life, very, like, everything too is go everything going too fast it's very hard for mind and we're not and we don't have much time to think about most important things I'm not saying life not important but about God about soul who we are where we're going and many others so yeah I'm just trying to share my own experience I want you to make my mistakes or maybe my words or something can help some seekers for God like who has a path yeah for some yogis yeah <clears throat> to have life doesn't mean to be alive yeah to have life doesn't mean to have a life. Uh, to live, actually. Yeah. To have a life doesn't mean to be... To be alive. Yeah, I'm using this one. I'm sorry. The glasses doesn't have it. It's red now. Yeah, sorry. I'm just going on the side sometimes. Yeah. Uh, but I'm coming back, you see. So... Uh, that's kind of obvious thing. I don't want you to, I'm not trying to be smarter than you. But to point on it, like, even if I repeat something, I'm trying not to get some something from somebody, but it's pretty much somebody, sometime already, like, told something similar that I'm speaking about. But Believe me, I'm not taking it from anyone. It just comes to me. Yeah, in meditation, when I sleep. During the day, rare, but sometimes. So, uh, to have a life doesn't mean to be alive. Yeah, as you see, what I mean is just a simple thing. For myself, this sutra, it's about appreciation. We spoke about it in the other videos. But everybody understands the sutras from his point of view. And it's another point of view about it. So it's not I'm repeating all, but it's just another angle. So uh, why about appreciation? Because you're not when you're not appreciate life that God gave you, when you're conscious with the human, when you don't have knowledge, uh, why is that so important and so unbelievable? Even if you have pain in life. And you not appreciate you pretty much like spending time like in a bad way you're just losing time you know like you're just wasting your life uh, you're doing many pleasures like you're attached to many things and you're not interested about like create or about something spiritual you're not growing spiritually and for the human it's important like when if you're not growing spiritually you falling back you're not staying on the same level 
in the consciousness of your mind, of your beliefs. You're just coming down. That's how we are. Yeah. That's who we are. That's the law of God. Like a house. If it's staying, like if somebody lives there, you can do something about it. Like you can change something. But if somebody not lives there, like logically, it's supposed to be like just staying. Nobody using anything. But it's step by step and destroy you know the atmosphere destroying the house nobody's taking care of it anymore so if you if you're not taking care about your about your soul if you're not taking care of your mind of your body especially mind if you're not reading spiritual scriptures or not growing spiritually you're basically spending losing like life for me it's not even life some people i'm not judging i'm just saying it's my opinion some people just eat sleep and uh, i'm not talking about the people who are really ill I feel sorry and I, I have compassion and love for them. I feel about people who are healthy and they can do many things. But unfortunately, it's going to be some time in some other lives, some future lives. There's some spending time just eating, sleeping. watching TV, not even happy, almost like animals, I love animals, but it's uh, kind of a person becoming, I don't want to say bad words, but not a life, like I said, he have life, he has life, He's not appreciative. He's not aware of it. Aware of this gift. And he's just kind of sleeping. We're all sleeping about it's about Maya also. The illusion. Before we enlighten. But that's the kind of deep sleep. Yeah, and I don't want to speak about it longer because I don't like to judge. Yeah, and I, I don't think somebody better than somebody. I am better than somebody else. I'm just speaking about a little different thing. I have my things, you know, like bad and good, so, uh, yeah. Dissolve time in the flow of, lo of love. It's kind of open phrase for the, like if you look, look at it like, logically like, from the first point of view. But it's kind of deeper in a, in a way. When, it, when love exists, the real love, not just when you fall in love or when you're excited about something. The real, real love, deep feeling. It's no time then. Sometimes time going very slow when it's no love. If you have 
something good you're pretty much happy on, on your level and you're attached to somebody for sympathy it's not bad but just I'm just saying it's kind of time going fast and you don't feel it like it's not you live a little easier, it's not too hard for you, less pain, but in true love, you don't have time, you don't feel time, it's not going slow or fast, it just you don't feel it, it's pretty, pretty much about it, yeah, and dissolve time and the flow of love, so uh, just go towards love, towards enlightenment and when you're gonna get true love like I said the time just dissolving in love just take a path pray do your sadhana do your things you're supposed to do grow spiritually read meditate and everything and all of it like will help you to not just to enjoy yourself but to open yourself for yourself just dissolve it's a good word because time not exists without mind if your mind dissolving in the consciousness higher consciousness which is above the mind your true soul the time dissolves in it also yeah just think of it also yeah it's another phrase yeah I think that's enough for today I don't want to I don't, I don't like long videos I think that's enough. Uh, God bless you. See you next time, I wish. I wish you the best. Work on yourself. Try to do yoga if you don't. God bless you. Namaste.